Good afternoon. It is about quarter to three on Friday. Anybody watching? How you doing? How you been? I just got off work a few minutes ago and I am off to the mall, yay, to get a present and a birthday card for my nephew. I also just called my brother to find out if he's turning 10 or 11 because I can't remember. <laughs> but it's his birthday party on Sunday, so I'm going to go grab a coffee, a fresh coffee, because what I have is a few hours old. Not that I'm not going to drink it, but I would like a fresh one. Ooh, you're going to have to wait, sir. There you go. So, it was a steady busy day today, let me tell you. Fridays, man. Just me and my coworker again. We have this house that we do, it feels like every Friday. I'm not sure, it could be every other, but it feels like every Friday. Um, actually, I think sometimes it's even Wednesday. I don't know, I feel like we're there way too damn much. They have these two chihuahuas um, that don't shut up. The one, the little chocolate brown one, is super sweet. He barks, like, for the first couple of minutes that we're there, and then he's over it, right? Give him a treat, scratch him on the butt. He's good as gold. The little white one, on the other hand, <clears throat> I shit you not, does not shut up from the time we get there until the time we leave. I hate this dog so much. Why are you going so slow, bro? You're turning. You're a douche. Um, yeah, I hate that little dog so much. Makes me want, I just want to kick it. I just want to kick it. I want to kick it so bad. I hate it. <laughs> Listen, I don't like small dogs to begin with. Well, it's not that I don't like them. I don't trust them. Anytime I've ever been nipped, it's always by a little dog. I do not trust little dogs, okay? They have little person syndrome, and yeah, I just do not trust them. But this one I actually hate. I hate this dog. And I found out a few months ago, the reason it barks is because the husband is forever carrying it around everywhere and that's what it wants it wants us to pick it up and carry it around well um unless it wants to get in the shower with me <laughs> because generally i do bathrooms i mean i do them all day long unless i'm with my boss then we tend to we tend to go back and forth um but come on man can you scooch just a little bit more? No? That's okay. I'll make it. There we go. I don't need you. <laughs> you dupe. <sighs> so. Yeah. It's just, they're very, they're very anxiety inducing for me. It's just, they just don't shut up. Well, I shouldn't say they. The one. Just doesn't shut up. It, it's just too much for me. I can't. Uh-uh. Money, money, money. I think I have exact. Yeah, buddy. Oh, no, I'm a little over. Hang on here. Oh, let's see. Put this down. That's good. Right. 
Yes. We can count. It's fine. So, there is something that I did want to discuss real quick. We'll see how quick I can make it. Um, I was going through... Now, listen. There's been an issue with YouTube Studio um, hiding comments. I don't delete comments. I don't hide comments unless they're hurtful, by which I mean like you know, poking fun at somebody's sobriety, calling names, um, actual bullying or harassment, that shit gets taken down and you get blocked, okay? Other than that, I, I don't censor my comments, I don't tell people what they can and cannot say, like, you know, hang on here. Uh... Tiramisu cold brew. Yes, can I get an extra large double double, please? Sure, anything else? That'll be all. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyways, I, I realized a couple people had, had asked me about their comments going missing or. You know, why did I take their comment down or whatever? It's not me. <laughs> it's, it, there's some fuckery going on in the YouTube studio. YouTube is on it, apparently. Um, I got an email from YouTube yesterday. It was actually an update email. And attached to it was the original email. I never got the original email. Thank you, YouTube. That's awesome. Awesome communication. <laughs> but... The update email was saying that, you know, most of these comments had been released, that they should be public, blah, 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 blah. Because the night before last, I actually found some of these comments that people were telling me about that were missing um, in my held for review tab. Um, a good buddy of mine, one of his comments was in there. There was, there was two or three. So I would release them and you can't comment, I can't comment until they're released, right? So I released them and then I refreshed my screen and went back in and they were still gone. So it was really agitating. So I left it for overnight. And then yesterday I got the, the email notification from YouTube. So I went back in and replied to the comments that were there. And one of them was a comment more or less calling somebody an idiot or stupid or something to that effect, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that will not fly on my channel. Hang on a second. Hi! It's 2.47. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You too. Yes. Name calling, threatening, harassing, bullying, putting people down will not fly on my channel. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're somebody that I have personally known for 20 years. I don't care if you are a subscriber for the last four. I don't care if you're a new subscriber. I don't care who you are. Okay. I will not put up with it. I will give you one warning in the comments to knock it off and I will watch you. And if I see you talking like that in my comments again, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm just going to block you. I'm going to take down your comments and I'm going to block you. You're done. I do not want you in my comments if you can't control yourself. I've seen my analytics, okay? There is nobody under 18 watching my shit. 
In fact, I have my videos marked as not for anybody under 18. So if you're under 18 watching my content, get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> you have no business on my channel, bro. Okay? <clears throat> Having said that, I don't care if you're 28 or if you're 65. If you're speaking like that in my comments, get out of my comments. In fact, feel free to unsubscribe. I really don't care. <clears throat> I'm not, you know, I'm not playing a numbers game. I, I would I would love to be able to get monetized and whatever, but not at the expense of anybody feeling singled out or picked on or hurt in my comment section. It will not happen. I will not allow it. So, let that be a note to all. There will be no fuckery in my comment section. My comment section is a place to go and discuss and laugh and have a good time. Disagree if you need to dis disagree. There is nothing wrong with that. But be respectful. Just saying. We're all adults here. Let's act accordingly. Okay? Cool beans. <laughs> yeah. I could not believe that. I, I was I was a little taken aback. Not happening on my channel. Over a pop culture thing. It was the video where I was talking about the rust case. Um I'm sorry, but you're not you're not a ditz, you're not an idiot, you're not out of touch, you're not stupid, you're none of that stuff just because you don't know what's going on with the Alec Baldwin Rust case, okay? <laughs> not everybody's got time for the Hollywood BS. It is really not that deep. Like, I mean, it, it's a horrible case. It's very sad. It's very frustrating. But it's... It, it, <laughs> come on now. There are bigger issues in the world, I'm just saying. There's no need for name calling. Just wait till Alec Baldwin takes a stand. I'm just saying. That case is going to be an absolute shit show. <laughs> and I will be talking about that one too. So be prepared. Oh well, yeah, get your little Sebring out with your top down. And yeah, do five under the speed limit. <sighs> I need to get over here. Which doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, buddy. Cool. Love it when a plan comes together. Oh, I am not looking forward to going to the mall. Although, you know what? I think maybe since I'm going to the mall anyway, I might look into upgrading my phone. Or at least getting a new phone case. My phone case, this phone case is absolutely garbage. It it's cracked, it's got pieces missing from it. <laughs> I will never go to that store that I went to in the mall for a phone case again ever in life. I'll go to the dollar store and get a phone case first, okay? <laughs> I've had a phone case from the dollar store before and it did not fall apart, so. <laughs> and I think I paid three bucks for the damn thing. This one I bet you I paid like 25 bucks for. So next week I am off on Thursday. I am thinking I may do a live stream on Thursday. I've lost track on whether or not I have vlogged yet this month. I think I have. I think I've vlogged twice, but I can't remember. Or not vlogged, Jesus Christ, I do that every day. Live stream. I think I've done two this month, but I honestly can't remember. 
Um, so yeah, I'm thinking Thursday, next Thursday, I will do a live stream, probably around one o'clock. But I will post in my community tab and I will post on the Twitter. And then my big job this weekend, unless something comes up, is to sit down and muck around with the OBS program and uh, get some reading done on the Patreon and buy me a coffee because I don't, I understand how it works and I think I understand how to set it up. I just don't understand how I get paid. <laughs> I don't understand the money end. Um, I forgot where I was going for a second. I'm going to the mall. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell am I going? I'm just driving. Just driving. It's a nice day. <laughs> oh dear. I think I want the other side of the mall. I don't come here very often, so I can never remember where everything is here. I hate the mall. I had friends when I was a tween and a teen who just lived and died by the mall. And so if I wanted to hang with them, I had to go to the friggin' mall. <laughs> to go hang at the mall. It's <laughs> so stupid. I mean, unless you're going to the arcade. I used to love the arcade. Go play some pinball and some air hockey. And that was a good time. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, sure. Just walk right out, Grandpa. Or, I'm sorry, Grandma. Hate to misgender somebody. That's a big fucking thing right now, isn't it? Jen just got canceled. Oh, you know what this means? This means I'm going to end up down at the food court. Oh, I might have to get some noodles. <laughs> the Chinese walk. Oh. I used to love New York fries when I was a teenager. New York fries had the best fries and gravy. And then, I don't know, a handful of years ago, I took Boo Boo here and I was like, we have to get some New York fries. I had the biggest yin for New York fries and they were utterly disgusting. <laughs> I don't know if they've changed the way that they make them or if my taste buds have changed. Both are equally possible, but I was very let down. Stop at GameStop and get my nephew is into Roblox. My kids were briefly into it. I never put any money into it for them because fuck off. I still don't well because I didn't understand what it was. I still don't understand what it is. <laughs> and I've had to buy cards for like my co-worker's granddaughter and don't even know but whatever they like it right, take your time mr. escape uh, where do I want to be I want to be down here somewhere. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Oh, yeah. Right there. 
like a glove. Oh, that's beautiful. So I took Boo Boo out, or Boo Boo, I took Monkey out yesterday after work. I went home, grabbed my check, went to the bank and deposited it, went grocery shopping, came home. He came out to help me and his shoes were flopping all over the place. Like the laces don't stay tied anymore. And I said to him like, okay, okay, look, it's been like two or three months that I've been meaning to take you out and get shoes. Like, let's just put away what has to go away and go do this. Like, oh my God. So I took him to the Walmart and I got him a new pair of shoes. <laughs> He's so funny. S like 60 bucks later, okay, like Jesus Christ. 60, 65 bucks for a pair of running shoes. God, they better last as long as these last ones did. These almost lasted him a good two years. That is worth the money. Usually they're all ripped up and whatever within like a month. But anyhow, he's so cute. He, he switched into the new shoes before we even left Walmart. He's like, switch into them. We're going to throw these out. Like I don't even, um, ugh. So I threw them out, he put the new ones on, and he stood up and he went to walk and he was like, oh my God. And I said, what? He goes, these are so comfortable. I told him, they have the gel thingy at the heel or whatever, back and foot. He says, I've never had this before. This is like, this is like walking on nothing. Like, oh my God. And I was like, eh, eh, eh? <laughs> Cause he couldn't understand why I was making a big deal about it. And I said, listen, when I was PSWing, all my shoes, all my work shoes had the gel insole, but mine was like the full insole because I'm here to tell you when you're running around all day on your feet, anything you can do to take the pressure off your hips, your back, your feet, all that, right? He was so funny. He was just blown away by these, the, these little gel things under his feet. It was so cute. Anyway, we're at the mall now, so I'm going to boot. Anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Be nice in the comments. Take care of yourself, and we'll talk later.